I'm looking for buff-breasted sandpipers. A guy named Joel Jorgensen says they're really common around the Rainwater Basin. I've seen 27 kinds of shorebirds in the wetlands, but no buff-breasted sandpipers. Where are they, Jorgensen? Joel Jorgensen, non-game bird program manager with the Nebraska Game and Parks Commission. How can I help you? I understand. It's time. Plus, we have a young bird that's unable to find buff-breasted sandpipers in the rainwater basin. One other thing. Start the buff-breasted sandpiper show. Roll the intro. I'm happy to see you're planning on coming with too, but before we take you out to the rainwater basin, we need to get you up to speed about what we're doing and why we're doing it. Take it away, egghead! The buff-breasted sandpiper is a shorebird of high conservation concern found in the western hemisphere. Unlike many other sandpipers, it occupies terrestrial habitats such as agricultural fields and heavily grazed pastures. It has an extremely long migration, with birds wintering in southeastern South America and breeding in the North American Arctic. Some birds may travel up to 30,000 kilometers in a single year. That's about 18,000 miles. In North America, their primary migratory corridor is through the Great Plains, but here, birds are only infrequently observed. Back in the 1970s, a gentleman by the name of Lee Morris observed large numbers of buff-breasted sandpipers while planting corn in the Rainwater Basin. The Rainwater Basin encompasses approximately 100,000 hectares. He means 100,000 square kilometers in south central Nebraska. Historically, this was a tall to mixed grass prairie plain containing up to 11,000 playa wetlands. Today, the region has been largely converted to agriculture, primarily corn and soybean production. In 2004, three researchers, Joel Jorgensen, you already know who I am, John McCarty. I'm John McCarty. I'm a professor of biology at the University of Nebraska at Omaha. I'm Larissa Wolfenbarger. I'm Larissa Wolfenbarger, professor of biology at UNO. Watched a study to determine how many buff-breasted sandpipers were stopping over in the rainwater basin. Results of their research indicate that the majority of the world population of buff-breasted sandpipers stops over in the rainwater basin. They've now continued their research. Now that you're up to speed, let's head out to the rainwater basin. Wow, you got out here fast, but you're looking in the wrong type of habitat to see buff-breasted sandpipers. They're out in agricultural fields. But hey, rainwater basin wetlands like this are critically important to millions of waterfowl, hundreds of thousands of shorebirds, and numerous other water birds. Now this field out here has some buff-breasted sandpipers. 